Facebook Live shortly. I have no idea how long this is going to last out here. Drop off line sports this morning from the beach, Cape San Blas. That is the Gulf of Mexico. I'm really trying things right now, too. Um, I'm really far away from connection. I'm going to try to stay as still as possible to see if the connection hangs. Um, this is this is basically why we come down. One of the reasons why we come down here is because they're literally, <laughs> this is what you get beach-wise here. You get it all to yourself. All right. I didn't wake up Laney. Laney's still in the house asleep. Blake's still asleep, so I decided to come down here this morning and do it myself. Chris, good morning. William, good morning to you. Um, as you see, the waves kind of crash again this morning here off the Gulf. Maybe in the distance you can see down there somebody fishing. Uh, I think we're going to go kayaking in the bay a little bit later on. Maybe I'm going to try to catch some uh, blue crab, something like that in the net. Been having a good time. I'm going to try to read what you're saying right here, too. Uh, good morning, Blaine. Seltzer, good morning to you. Got a little hoopage later on tonight. I am not playing tonight, Jeff. Not tonight. Uh, good morning, Barbara. I'm going to try to maybe in a little bit walk back. Let's see if I can do a little circle here for you. You can kind of see, it's not as far as it looks. That is right over my ear right here. That is the house, our house. This is uh, the second year for this house. We've had, we've had I think, four uh, maybe four different ones, five different ones uh, while we've been down here, but this is by far the best one. Uh, this is a place where we're, we're always going to go for vacation. Uh, best house, best place. I mean, you can see right now the beach is awesome. Um, you guys would love it down here. That's why everybody needs to come with us. Good morning, Tim. Um, <laughs> looking better down there than overcast and Indy. Here's the other part of it is being out here on the Cape, weather-wise, the weather and the winds can it blow. You get all kinds of storms, just like 20 miles inland that you don't get right here, man. We don't deal with that much rain or that much bad weather. Just kind of go. All right, you guys got any questions this morning you want to ask? Uh, as far as the Pacers are concerned, uh, the Lance news, we talked about that yesterday. Um, I still think that they would like to bring him back. They might bring him back, but it would be at a price. Um, I, listen. I know that there are a lot of people suggesting that Lance is fake hustle and fake this and fake that. Lance isn't fake. That is Lance, all right? That is Lance. Lance doing and being the showman, that's, I think, why we like Lance. I mean, the, the point is, if Lance were someplace else, we wouldn't like him in doing that. We wouldn't like him. But the fact that he is here, we would like him. Oh, look who's coming down the beach right now. Oh, here she comes. Come on, beach girl. This is actually working down here too, which is classic. Heath, good morning to you, man. I'm sorry about the gig, but keep, hey, keep after it. The gig's coming, my, my, I promise you, my brother. The gig is, is coming. Um, Jared, good morning to you. That's wet, right? There. Well, look who's here. Drop off line sports. Come on over here for a minute. Look who is here in her, in her beach pajamas. Say hi, how we doing? Huh? What do you, come here, come here and tell them. Tell everybody what you like about Cape San Blas. Tell them. The beach. The beach? Hey, go jump in the water in your pajamas. <laughs> that's, that's it. Good morning, Sean. I'm trying to read these a little tough here. Um, Kyle Ford, good morning to you, my man. Kevin, I know, is in. And you know, we're having a great time down on the vacation for sure. All right, hey, lady, Madama's here. Say hi, Madama. <laughs> we'll get a little bit closer up. I'm going to test things and see if this stuff craps out on me here. I'm trying not to fall in myself here. Um, hey, lady. Jennifer wants you to find her a cool seashell. Can you find one really quick? See, here's, a, here's another thing, too. You can actually pay and you can drive on the beach down here. Not very many people do it, but you can actually pay and drive. They have horses that you can ride out here. Now, I'm not riding any horses or anything, but you have horses you can ride on the beach. Travis, good morning to you. Oh, how many bottles? I've gone through, I've been doing a little Elijah Craig in the past couple of days, Travis, and it's been pretty good, man. I brought 10 bottles in all down here, probably a little overkill. I don't know if I'm gonna down 10 bottles, but I've been sitting by the pool and uh, dropping a little bourbon into the Yeti and having a great time. Christopher, good morning to you too. Um, did you find anything yet? We need, a, we need a dolphin to swim by here sometime. That's the other part about it too, because you don't have a lot of people here. 
the, uh, the sea life. I'll give you a great example. Yesterday we were right here, literally right here, and a little four, four or five foot stingray came out of the water right, right next to us and just kept on swimming. <laughs> it's like, hey, whatever. <laughs> so it's a little stingray. I mean, the, because there are not a lot of people here, the, the, uh, the sea life is pretty active. Like you get crabs and, and a lot of fish swimming up here. As I mentioned, stingrays. You will get the occasional shark. Like I found a hammerhead around here before too. A hammerhead that's about two feet long. Did you find anything yet? No? All right. So that's, that's the one great thing about this place is, um, is not a lot of people. So the sea life is active, very active around here, stuff you can see. Um, Darnell, good morning to you. You guys got any questions for me? Go ahead and fire away. Hey, Lainey, you didn't find anything yet? Are you looking? I got to come over there? All right. We're going to walk over here right now. Hey, one thing about the Pacers, too, we're kind of waiting on the decision of Thad to see what happens there. I think the Pacers are going to do a lot of movement coming up this summer, and the one guy I think that they're going to go after, and we've kind of been debating on whether or not we like it or not, is Marcus Smart of the Celtics. He's a restricted free agent. He's going to cost a lot of money, but I think that that's one guy that they're definitely going to target. Yes. Dolphins. Okay, we're going to see if we can see dolphins out there. Uh, let's see. You guys are going to have to look because I can't see it myself right now. Um, supposedly there are dolphins out here. All right, here's another great story. Two years ago we came out here. We go on the other side of the Cape, which is basically less than a mile. Where, where are they? I just stepped in a hole. Wait a minute. All right, guys, I want to see if you guys can see some dolphins. Do we see any dolphins? All right. There's the dolphin. Oh, there it is. You guys, you guys got to look at the dolphin right there. Look, look for the dolphin to come out of the water like this. Let's see here. It should be. See if you guys can see the dolphin. Uh, come back up again, buddy. Come on now. I saw it. He was pretty close too. Yeah. Uh, there he was. He just came back up again. Yeah. He came back up again. So. Um, I'm no marine biologist, Costanza, but I think the dolphins like to come up close because there are a lot of fish that are swimming around in here. There, is, there, there are two of them right over there. Are you guys seeing them? You guys let me know if you're seeing them or not seeing them right now. But there are two dolphins literally right over there. We're going to try to follow it here before I lose connection. Dolphin Watch 2018 right here. Here we go. I did. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to step on that. All right, dolphins over the shoulder. Yeah, let's see. Anyway, I don't know if you guys saw it. You might be just staring at water and waves. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's just a part of it here. I don't know if you guys saw dolphins or not. Did anybody see them? And if you didn't, uh, it's understandable. It's not the best camera shot in the world, but uh, there they are right out there again. You saw them out there again? There are two of them swimming together. Did you see the dolphin? Huh? Tell them about the dolphin. Did you see it? Uh huh. Did you tell them about the time when we were kayaking in the bay and the dolphin came right up next to our kayak to see you? Like nose right in the kayak. Did you tell them? Did you tell them? Huh? Did you tell them? What? Huh? All right. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm trying to read what you're saying here. I can't. It's pretty tough. Drop Off Light Sports brought to you by Bobcat of Indy. Dolphin Watch 2018 is out here right now. I guess we're following them down the beach here. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're still out there. I saw them again out there. So, yeah, that's the great, great part about it is you get a lot of sea life out here because there's just not very many people out here. All right. I want to give you a little visual. Try to walk back here and give you a little visual of the house. Um, later on today, I think Tony's got you covered again today. I know Tony had a great show yesterday as well. Um, from what I've heard, at least. Are you coming back, too? All right. And uh, Tony's got you covered coming up later on today. I'll tell you what, the connection's amazing right now, considering it's hanging in there, which is incredible. I don't know how much you guys can see me, but uh, I'm going to try to backpedal a little bit here so you can see us better. We're now walking back toward the house. What? Did you see those dolphins out there? Saw him laying here or not. So um, here's here's what we do. 
we basically have some sand to walk through here, the beach part, right? And you can see right in front of us, there's where, there's the house right there. That's where, that's, that's where we stay. Hey, Jennifer, Lanny found a cool shell. Here it is. That is a cool shell. Hey, tell everybody thanks for watching even while we're on vacation and you're in your pajamas, okay? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Drop offline sports on vacation and in pajamas. All right. We're walking here. I'm going to walk through the sand. Huh? Yeah, there have been all kinds of sand crabs have been active in here. You can you can kind of tell, huh? Ghost crabs? You can kind of tell? Yeah, right down there. Ugh, they've been active. I'll tell you what, the one thing I don't like, I love coming down here. I hate sand on my feet and my toes, Laney. No sand on the toes. Sand on the huh? Sand on the what? <laughs> hey, when are we going to get back to Mr. Cup? Mr. Cup. M Mr. Cup. Mr. Cup. What else? Hide the cheap sunglasses? Where right? I hope we're hanging in here. I guess we are. All right, guys. This is kind of the walkway where we go, just off the beach. And uh, as you can see, there are not very many houses around here. There are houses over there that you can see right there. That's sand in my shoes, man. Bummer. <laughs> and then there's some houses you can see down there further. And you see the tundra in the distance right there. So this is where the uh, sand part of our walk ends. And then we have a, <clears throat> a long private walkway that leads back up to the house. Right, lady? Mm -hmm. So this is kind of what it is. This is Cape Sandblast. This is our eighth year. And it's pretty damn fun down here. I mean, it really is. Really nice if you like peace and quiet. If you don't like to be stacked up five on a time on the beach, it is pretty nice. It really is. I'm going to read some questions right here. Let's see. I'm going to try. I can't see anything because the glare is too bright. Uh, anyway, you got, uh, I mentioned the fad news coming up here soon. A couple of days. You should know about fad. I know a lot of you are not happy regarding the lands completely understand that we'll see if that is an absolute dead issue and as i mentioned marcus smart i think is going to be a hard target even as a restricted free agent for the pacers the problem with the guy is the guy can't shoot the guy can't shoot but he would give you three incredible defenders i would think in the top five of the pacers and um, that's a good thing i think you can work on shooting right all right this is kind of Hope I don't make anybody sick. That's that's a house that is directly to our right, right there. So, all right. And this is how it looks. You're following the star of the show in her pajamas what? on the beach. Pajamas. After a dolphin there's watch, the, huh? Starla. What's that? There's Starla. And uh, there's a the house Look right there. Up. Are you having a good time? Mm -hmm. You are. I don't know if you've ever done drop off line sports in your pajamas before, have you? Yes. You have? I don't know about it. Uh, anyway, there it is right there. Drop off line sports this morning. I'm going to try to read a couple of things here. Come on. Okay, hold on a second. Sound a little winded from the walk. <laughs> Travis says, <laughs> trudging through sand, man, gets to you. There's no doubt. Uh, BT dude, thank you. Uh, Mike Dwyer, Paul George coming back. Come on now. Come on. Hey, I did see. I didn't see it, but I heard about the whole Paul George thing on ESPN where Paul George actually talked about how he didn't feel that the Pacers appreciated him very much after his broken leg. I mean, are you... That's just further reason to drop it. I mean, you guys know where I stand on that. He tried to screw the organization. Anybody that says otherwise doesn't know anything about it. But uh, I mean, no appreciation. I mean, people were holding out hope that he wanted to stay even when it was clear he didn't want to stay. The dude actually lied to Kevin Pritchard and then went the other direction. Come on. Come on. Anyway, we'll keep walking. Travis, do you think I sounded winded? I hope I didn't sound winded. Maybe I need to go run. What do you think? That's one thing I don't want to do is run on the beach. Anybody else hate running on the beach? I know that they make it look really glamorous in Baywatch, but I don't think there's anything glamorous about it, is there? 
No running on the beach. I don't think. All right, here we go. End of the walk. Got to have a pool. Pool right here. Boom. And this is, uh, this is how we do vacation. This is how we've done vacation at Cape Sand Blast now for the eighth year. And uh, we're going to keep coming because this is a great place. And if you need any information about it, if you, I'm not trying to sell it because nobody cares what I think about it. Let me see if I can sit in this chair. Okay. If you guys ever want to come down here, give me a shout and we'll load everybody up and we'll get going. <laughs> Um, any other questions while I sit down here? I can finally see a little bit right now, too. Um, we're kind of walking back from the beach. Anyway, is Paul George the biggest D-bag in Pacers history? He's the biggest whiny baby. Big whiny baby. And they're better off without him. Corey Plunkett, man. Good to see you. Becky, good to see you, too. Mrs. Waltz, you have to come down with us sometime. So... It is, it's pretty nice down here. I mean, it really is. If you like peace and you like quiet, non-commercial. I mean, listen, if you like a lot of people around you, that's one thing, and that's, there's no problem with that. So, uh, Jeremy Goad wants to know the thoughts on the IU baseball coach. Yeah, I saw that he's leaving for Mississippi State. Um, you think Fred's going to pay this thing like it's a, a job where you can keep guys now? Because, you know, Tracy Smith went to Arizona State. The problem that you're going to have is it's the Big Ten and it's cold weather and guys are moving to programs in the SEC and the Pac-12 where you don't have to deal with weather. I mean, think about this. We talked to, uh, I forget what his name was, from the IU baseball team before I left, and they didn't have good weather until basically late April, early May. Didn't have good They were playing in the freezing cold, and that's a bummer, man. So I think that's always going to be an issue. I mean, you might be able to pay somebody a lot of money, but I don't – you, you kind of knew – you certainly knew what you had in Tracy. You knew what you had in Chris. So I, I doubt if they're going to pay anybody um, just because of the geography of it. It's it's really tough. Um, Travis wants to know, how do they manage – hi, Christy. There she goes. <laughs> how do they manage minutes between D.C., Joseph, and Smart? Yeah, I know. I thought about that too. I did. Um well, I think Mark, Mark is smart is going to be a this year and a longer-term thing, right? I mean, you don't really know what's going to go on with Corey Joseph. right? You think Corey, and I like Corey Joseph, but Corey Joseph is probably next year then gone. Um, I just think they – I think you think about what they need, and they certainly need shooting. And that's the only aspect, and I agree with you guys. Marcus Smart can't shoot it at all. I mean, he shot at 30% from three. I think 36% maybe overall, if that. Um, that's a problem, but what the Pacers don't have that he offers is a legit toughness, is legit defensive capabilities, and when you look at the rest of the NBA, to have three really good, and I mean really good, top shelf defensive guys in Oladipo and in Smart and in Turner, that kind of sells me on it a little bit. It does. I, I think that if you're Marcus Smart, you've always been, you know, a great athlete and you know an NBA level player. Can't you teach yourself to shoot? Can't you go out and use the gun and teach and teach and teach, right? Why couldn't you do that? That's my expectation for him. Uh, and that's what you'd have to hope. If you're going to pay him that much money, that's what you're going to have to hope. All right, let me throw some things in there. you got Marcus Smart's restricted free agent. Will Barton is unrestricted. Tyreek Evans, unrestricted. Uh, Aaron Gordon, restricted. Of the four names I just gave you right there, who would you rather have? Who would you rather have? Uh, Brian wants to know where the hat is. Sorry, I just took it off for a minute, man. I couldn't read because of the glare. Hat's right here. Bobcat of Indy. Don't worry, it's right. I just can't read because of the glare. Mike Dwyer says the NBA is a joke. Three or four teams with a legitimate shot to win. You know what, though? I mean, I know that's not what the NFL is, but there are a lot of... What was that? Somebody just dropped something on me. Yeah, I see. Hey, look, we got sneakers upstairs here that are trying to drop stuff on me. Anyway, it's kind of like that. Like, for example, look at the World Cup. I mean, there's nothing changed with the World Cup. It's the same damn teams every year, right? I mean, Brazil, I mean, Argentina. Argentina had a big scare. Argentina's in. My guys from Iceland couldn't get it done. They're going back home to Reykjavik where it's like 38 degrees right now. Um Jeff says Lance is much cheaper than Smart and the same player. I don't think – Jeff, I would disagree. I want to keep Lance, but I don't think Lance is the same player as Smart. 
Lance is definitely not the same player Smart defensively. Smart is at a way higher level than Lance defensively. There's Todd just ran on the beach. Say hey, Todd. Say hey, what's up, buddy? Todd ran. I didn't. <laughs> and I'm not going <laughs> to. So you can't make me. Um, Sean says the Lance announcement did surprise him. Um, here, here's why it didn't surprise me that much. I mean, I thought it sucked. I do want Lance around. But when you think that a guy probably doesn't have as much options, one thing you don't know is what has been talked about, I guess, behind the scenes. To me, unless Lance is, like, pitching a really big bitch right now, which I don't know that he is if he's, if he's really upset about it, seems to me like maybe you had a conversation about we need to get X and Y player in here and we need to put this money right now to it. Now, I know it's famous last words because it's a business, but you don't really know, like, what's going on, right? behind the scenes conversationally here all you know is hey this is what they did because that's what you have to do via nba uh, via nba financial terms i mean you got to do that there are certain dates in the contracts where you have to announce it but i'll give you a great example like last year when kevin said he had all those conversations with paul and george behind the scenes private conversations and you know paul said he really liked what they were doing and then paul went a different direction on the other hand. I mean, listen, it could be. I mean, they could be, and we may end up looking at Kevin thinking, man, you really screwed over Lance, and I hope that's not the case because I like Lance as much as anybody else. I don't think that he is the equal of Marcus Smart when it comes to defense. Um, so I, I, I don't. But I agree. He, he might be on the long run because he's going to be a hell of a lot cheaper than what Marcus Smart is. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And it may not even be Marcus Smart. I'm just throwing that out there from what I'd heard, but it might not even be him. All right, and you're right, darn it. I know Smart can't shoot, but I, you can teach the other aspects of this game you can't teach that the Pacers need, right? Need a little bit of toughness. Need a little bit, a lot of defense. So just a couple of things. A couple of things for you to chew on today. All right, what we got question-wise? This is from Maria T. Van Dam. I just like to watch great basketball. I'd be right there with you, Maria. Yeah. Travis said I'd stay away from Tyreek. I'm not a Tyreek Evans guy. Um, I'd look into Will Barton only because every time we watch Will Barton, right, play for the Nuggets, he's killing the Pacers. So I would definitely look into Will Barton. Um, I'm not even sniff around. If not, if not Marcus Smart, I'd sniff around the restricted free agency of Aaron Gordon because I kind of view him like Victor Oladipo when he is in Orlando. He just he didn't blossom until he got out of that situation. And I don't think Aaron Gordon is a guy that has been able to blossom because of what has been a bad situation in Orlando. Just a thought there. Um, anyway, um, see, Jeff, and that's the only question. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if Smart is going to be worth paying the extra amount of money uh, to do that. I kind of understand why they need a player like that. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. And it may not even be their target. That's just what I think they're going to sniff around for sure. Um, anyway, all right, Drop Off Line Sports brought to you by Bob Catavendi. We're on Cape Sandblast. Vacation is going great. Uh, you want to look back, if you missed any of the video, if you want to look back, uh, we had Dolphin Watch going on there. A couple of Dolphins uh, made their first appearance on Drop Off Line Sports, which is something new. You might look back and be able to see them pop out of the water while we were doing it. And, uh, of course, the star got up this morning in her pajamas and walked down to the beach with us on Drop Off Line Sports. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. By the way, the Reds won again last night, right? There goes that. See that boat? Should The boat's out there right now next to me. He is literally right off the beach, too. See, that's how you can tell. You can tell that those dolphins are floating around because the dolphins are eating fish, and that boat is fishing right off the shore right there. All right. Anyway, Stephanie, thank you. Maria, thank you very much. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. We'll come at you again tomorrow morning at 830 and see if we can find something else to do here on Cape Sambles. Summer Vacation Drop-Off Line Sports brought to you by Bobcat of Hendy. Tony has got you covered with others coming up today at 3. You guys enjoy.